I love going into big box stores because they always have a section of clearance that I always like to visit. It, it's just like a moth to the light kind of thing. I have to go and take a look to see what they have in there. And Menards had this really good deal for this 20 inch by 20 inch square. It was $1.99 for this. And all I could see that was really a failure is that it is a little bit marred in certain areas, but you know what? With this kind of good type of plywood, you could do a lot of work with it. <clears throat> so what is going to come out of this is that I've been wanting to do some work with some pretty empty cabinets that I had in my bathroom for a while. And uh, let's just go up there and take a look because this is actually going to be the second half to it before I started doing this upcycling thing. But I'll explain myself as I go through. All right, let's go up to the bathroom. So like any 90s piece that was made, the purpose of uh, cabinetry inside a bathroom is usually, in this case, is to hide any of the extra piping and uh, P-traps and everything that goes with a typical bathroom. And generally when those are made, there's no shelving units. And it makes sense. They didn't know exactly what size or what we were going to install. So in essence, they just left a giant empty hole for you to install whatever you want on top. The problem with that though, is that once everything's set, um, once you start putting things in there, it starts getting hard to reach and get things, at least in my opinion it was. And so that $1.99 wood was a great deal for me because it enabled me to put these two uh, sliding bottom mount shelving slides right here. And now I can pull and get anything from the back all the way to the front. And it gives it a nice little custom look. I have to admit that was kind of one of the reasons why. And that all just came basically from that. Now, the most expensive thing that you're going to probably install is the actual sliding shell piece. But that's just a minor item to compare to the whole benefit of what this will do for you. Especially getting you things that you want to have. Now, space sometimes is limited because of the piping, in this case there was for this one, but on the other side, I actually had more than enough to make a second shelving unit, and it's a matter of preference on how you want to do it. You can actually decide to attach it to this bottom drawer or not. That's a personal preference. I like to keep it off so that way, you know, I have like bulky items on the top, it won't shift so much, right? <laughs> So it's a matter of preference and I hope that this gives you an idea of what to do with some of those cheap items that they're trying to get rid of in those big stores. And uh, if you have any questions about anything involving with an upgrade into the bathroom, do send me a comment. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have for them. Alright, don't forget to subscribe and thank you very much. Bye.